Miller back with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So it's going to be a quick one tonight. It's 6pm and I am in the middle of a fucking forest in India. I don't even know where we are. It's not fucking Hassan, that's for sure. I'm in the car doing the pot at the moment because we're staying in some like quiet farmhouse in the middle of some forest. And the thing is, there's a little bit of Wi-Fi here. You have to basically be sitting on the modem to get a little bit of fucking gas going. So I don't know if I can even upload a podcast on that shitty fucking modem. So I'm doing this, heading down there, trying to release it. And if it doesn't fucking get released, I'm driving back into phone reception. And that is at least a 45-minute drive down dirt roads fucking goats jumping out, fucking, I don't even know what these animals are called, but they've got big fucking horns, and the Indians paint their fucking horns like blue and green and orange and shit, I don't know what the animal is, but they're fucking everywhere, plus there's monkeys fucking everywhere, and I don't like monkeys at all, there's a couple of goats around here, I respect goats, it's hard not to respect something that fucking weird looking. And the goat that's lurking around has a little baby and massive tits. Goat tits are huge. I actually thought it was a giant goat dick out of the corner of my eye. I was like, Jesus Christ, goats have fucking massive dicks. I said that in front of everyone. They're like, no, they're tits. I'm like, still, they're giant tits, whatever they are. But goats you respect, monkeys you fear. I fear monkeys, even the small ones, even the baby ones. The guy who showed us to our rooms told us to lock all the doors because the monkeys get in and just fucking rampage through your room. So they're just fucking born criminals, these monkeys. And on the walk out to the car just before, you've got to walk down a path and on either side there's like 20 monkeys. So you're walking directly through just a pack of of fucking dodgy criminal monkeys who want to fuck you up. And they look like they want to fuck you up too. And there's something about them. I think they know they can fuck humans up. It was really intimidating walking through that gang of monkeys. The vibe they were giving me was like, Hey cunt, you better not make one wrong fucking move. Because if you do, we're going to fuck you up. And you can't show them any fear either. Because monkeys can just fucking sense that. So you just got to walk casually through the gang like you're not intimidated at all. Like pretending to look at trees and shit. Don't make eye contact with monkeys either. I fucking hate monkeys actually. I forgot how much I hate monkeys. The alpha dog of the gang made a growling noise as well. As I walked past trying to fucking intimidate me like that. I don't know what it was like but it was fucking, it did intimidate me. I'm actually kind of worried about walking back in. But it's all up in the air at the moment. If I can't get this podcast uploaded on this 1992 dial-up fucking internet, I'm going for a fucking drive. We actually drove into town before. That was the only place where I could get a few bars of fucking phone reception. And it's a shitty little town. I'm going to try and do a little driving vlog through there tomorrow just to show you what small town fucking India is like. It's not going to be much of a drive. It's a small, dirty little town. So I'll probably have to get out and do some fucking real vlogging. Drogging and vlogging. The drogging is driving vlog. But that's a maybe. I'm going to definitely try and do it. But my wife's sister's fiance's family's with us. And he wants to get involved. And there's a lot of suggestions flowing around. And I just want to get out there. I want to tease some Indians to their face because they can't understand me. I want to swear a bit and I want to get some good fucking footage. But I can only do that if I'm by myself or with my wife. But I will try my hardest to get that footage. I'll chuck it up on the Patreon because I want to show you what small town India is like. It's slow. You get the feeling some of the people here have been here for generations. I mean like 10 12 generations and have never left their little square. There's actually something I like about that kind of life. I don't know if I could live it, but possibly if I knew nothing else about the outside world at all.
If the only frame of reference I ever had was just my little square in my little Indian village, then that could be a good life, a hard life, but a life that has its own little perks. Time completely slows down. So a year in these little villages would be the equivalent of like five years in a city. And they seem very content with their little simple lives. I like it. I don't think I could go back and live that type of lifestyle, Indian village lifestyle. I'm too broken. I've seen too much. I'm too damaged. I can't look at some dirt and a water buffalo or whatever the fuck it is with the blue horns and be content. I want to be able to. That's what it's all about. Getting back to the simplicity of life. Looking at a leaf and seeing the wonders of the universe in the leaf. But that won't be happening tonight because I'm going to be trying to upload a fucking podcast on some dial-up internet. And if that doesn't go well, I am making a fucking hell of a trek into this little shitty town. So that is what it is tonight. I'll do an Ask Boyle when I'm back in civilization tomorrow, or it might be the next day. But that is it for tonight. I need to try and upload this podcast, and I need to allow for some time for a trek into some phone reception. All right, that's it for tonight. Sign up to the Patreon. I will be doing the village tour, 85% chance I'll be doing the village tour, and I'll be chucking that on the Patreon. The links are in my social media bios. Or just message me and I'll send you the link directly. Anyway, fuck it. That's all for tonight and I'll see you the fuck later.